This is Shelly Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're coming to you live from the LD Micro 11th Annual Main Event in Bel Air, California, 2018. I have with me today Brian Gans, Security Devices International. It's a publicly traded company on the OTC markets, and the symbol is SDEV. Brian, welcome to SNN Live. Shelly, thank you very much for having me here. It's good to have you. Let's get started with a brief overview of the company, and we'll go from there. Uh, Security Devices is a uh, a company that provides uh, personal security devices for home defense. Now, what's the history behind the company, and how did the product get developed, and what was the unmet need? When I joined the company a couple of years ago, we were providing uh, 40 millimeter uh, blunt impact uh, munitions for law enforcement and uh, military. These are very, very difficult markets, highly regulated markets, and we wanted to pivot to find a way to address the much larger market, the home defense market and the private security market, um, rather than the very regulated uh, police and military markets. So we were looking for some way to find something that would not be as regulated as the 40 millimeter ammunition. Um, so what we were looking for, what, what we came up with was uh, the Berna personal security device. It is a handheld device. Um, in fact, I have one with me here that I carry with me. But this is, uses a CO2 cartridge. It fires a chemical irritant round um, at about 300 uh, feet per second um, and is able to disarm an attacker uh, very effectively. So how does it work? The, the round is filled with a chemical irritant, uh, pepper, uh, olocapsaicin, OC, uh, sometimes CS, uh, a tear gas. Um, so it will uh, cause somebody's eyes to involuntarily shut. It will cause respiratory distress. It is very, very effective. Um, it's currently used by uh, law enforcement in uh, police applications and prison applications. Um, it's very, very nasty stuff. So when you get hit with this, and we've been doing a lot of human effects testing uh, lately, um, p- people will go down very quickly. They'll be incapacitated for several minutes, um, giving uh, the homeowner a chance to get out of the house safely and to call 911. What is the competitive advantage over some of the other methods used? Well, there's a void today uh, because uh, the biggest form of uh, protection is a firearm. Um, And obviously, we want to give uh, a homeowner something that's non-lethal. There's a lot of gun owners like myself that really are not anxious to take a life. Um, I'm not sure how quickly I would be uh, to pull the trigger. Um, That split second could be fatal. So I want something that's non-lethal. That's the first thing. Secondly, the other non-lethal devices like pepper spray, um, a a baseball bat, require a very, very close encounter. Um, The burner will allow you to uh, disarm an assailant at uh, significant distances. The launcher is accurate up to 60 feet. Um, but we think will be used primarily probably uh, inside at distances 25 or 30 feet away. Um, But this allows you to disarm a threat before it becomes serious, and that's really what we're trying to do. What are your competitors? What's the landscape out there? Uh, I I think the primary competition right now is uh, mace and pepper spray. Um, You'd be surprised at how many women carry mason pepper spray. Uh, When we were just doing a little poll in our office, we were shocked and decided we had to be much nicer to our female employees uh, because virtually every woman we know carries mason pepper spray. Um, In terms of other launchers uh, like ours, there isn't anything really directly competitive, although there are other uh, gas-fired launchers that fire uh, chemical irritant rounds they're much, much larger, which makes them impossible to carry in a concealed manner. Uh, You can't fit it in your purse, you can't fit it in your glove box, you can't carry it uh, on your person as I'm carrying the burner today. Um, So I think we fill a void uh, that allows somebody to use this as truly a personal security device. And I think that's where uh, where we fit in um, and create something that doesn't exist in the market today. 
Who's your target market? Our target market, really, I, I think we exist at the intersection of both gun owners like myself who are not willing to take a life um, and homeowners not willing to own a gun. So I, I know that there are a lot of people that would never want to own a gun but want to have some form of self-protection. Um, we also think that this is an opportunity for private security that can't have a uh, uh, that are not allowed to carry firearms. We think RVers would look uh, would be interested in this. We think boaters would be interested in this. We think truckers would be interested in this. Uh, we've already gotten an order, um, the first order for 3,000 launchers from South Africa. Uh, we think in countries like South Africa where it's difficult to own a handgun, uh, this will be very popular. The uh, purchaser is a company called Dave Shear Guns. Um, they're the largest distributor of handguns in South Africa. And when somebody comes in to buy a handgun, they may have to wait six or nine months uh, to get approval. They walk out with nothing. Now they can walk out with an effective means of self-defense. They're also selling to Securitas, which is a private security company. Um, so this, this gives them something that they can use that is an effective means of stopping an assailant, um, whereas today they have to engage an assailant uh, at a much closer distance. Are there any specific regulations governing this? First and foremost, this is not a handgun, and uh, that's one of our hashtags, not a handgun. Um, there are no federal regulations. This is not regulated by the ATF. There are some state regulations. The state regulations revolve primarily around uh, the rounds that we shoot. So a number of states, including California, uh, where we are currently, regulate uh, pepper spray and any pepper rounds. So you're allowed to have pepper rounds in California. You just have to buy them um, from a regulated dealer, and you have to have a California identification card. Massachusetts, where I'm from, the same thing. So the states want to just make sure they know who has these rounds. It's not that you're not allowed to have the rounds. They just want to make sure they know who has the rounds. The launcher itself is really... Um, unregulated in most states. There are some municipalities uh, like New York City that have more stringent regulations on the launcher, um, but we are putting together a 50 state uh, matrix that will show uh, potential consumers exactly um, what the regulations are in their state and municipality. Now, you're a public company, so you're limited as to what you can say, uh, but what are some growth drivers? Well, we're going to be introducing um, uh, the burner uh, in the United States in February. So the first 3,000 units are being sold, uh, as I said, in South Africa to Dave Shear Guns uh, during the month of January. Uh, the first production run will be 10,000 units. So uh, the 7,000 subsequent units will be sold starting in February. Um, these these uh, are being produced in South Africa. We are then going to move production to Fitchburg, Massachusetts, when we go into the Gen 2 Berna, which we think will be about 50,000 units. We are developing a number of other products. There is a, um, a Berna PE, the professional edition. It will fire a shaped round. This round will be fired at a higher speed, carry a greater payload, um, and will be designed for private security. Uh, we're developing shaped rounds that can be fired uh, from 12-gauge shotguns. We're developing shaped rounds that can be used for animal husbandry. So we've been contacted by a company um, that wants to inoculate cattle, again, using an air-fired round. So there's a lot of interesting uses for this uh, air-fired technology where we can fire something uh, accurately at distance uh, uh, using a shaped round and CO2. Brian, let's get your website out for more information for our investor audience, if you uh, would. It's www.burna.com, and that's uh, B-Y-R-N-A, and uh, that's the way we say burner in Boston. It's a burna. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Gadd, Security Devices International. It's a publicly traded company in the U.S. It's S-D-E-V. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. We're coming to you live from the LD Micro 11th Annual Main Event in Bel Air, California, 2018. Brian, thanks for coming Shelley, on. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it.